Hello guys, welcome back to Planet Crafter. We're going to launch some rockets today and this one is a satellite GPS satellite rocket. We're going to launch a couple of rockets for the resource uh, the terraforming boosters like um, we have now equipment for biomass rocket so it requires two super alloys one fertilizer and a seed of lerma so that's uh, what we're going to launch right now this will give us a boost of a thousand percent for biomass generation so currently whatever we have producing biomass that will be accelerated by one thousand percent so here it is so look at that so we have a huge <laughs> lerma plant in the center of it encased in a glass so we're going to launch this into the sky and off it goes to space so let's launch this here it goes let's have a look from this point i don't know why they haven't put any rocket sounds on these but it's okay it's going off <laughs> it's working so there it goes so these rockets they boost our statistics let's have a look here we were at how much percent 2000 percent now we're at 3000 percent so it boosted it 1000 percent by 1000 percent immediately so we're going to launch all of these and okay let's see what next one we're going to launch a seed spreader it requires the same two super alloys a bacteria sample a mutagen and a tree bark so the mutagen is built with a bacteria sample uh, methane gas and a piece of sulfur so you have to make two bacteria samples for this one for mutagen and one is used directly so the bacteria sample is made from the algae that you grow on water you go under those plants and grab the algae and with three water bottles three algae you make one bacteria so let's have this ready let's see what this one has inside ah uh, there's a tree like plant in it okay so let's launch this off we need water first so let's launch this t minus five four three two one blast off okay blast off <laughs> So I've, I recorded all of this and in the end I realized that I, my mic was off. So I'm recording the voiceover later on. So there it goes. So these rockets, the biomass and the oxygen one, this one, they usually just uh, make the sky go greenish. The storm comes and it's uh, basically floating algae like substances grow so here we have 4000 oxygen generation now so that uh, new screen gives a good idea of how many rockets you've launched the percentages it's affecting now so see this is the thing I was talking about it just gives some greenish floating algae type of thing probably it's moss seeds or something so there we have two rockets launched off let's uh, get ready for a third one so I grabbed uh, equipment for two rockets right now one is um, the what is this attraction rocket asteroids attraction rocket this uh, brings in uranium asteroids and boosts uh, heat uh, generation I think so there it goes this one has some solar panels on it so this uh, one will bring in some uranium asteroids right now I think the iridium one generates heat this one just uh, boosts everything up a bit so there there we see some asteroids dropping in our on our place so what I do is I just look at these asteroids falling locate the positions they roughly fall off at and then later on I just go have a round and grab all the uranium or iridium or whatever the asteroids are bringing in like there's a couple of random events when they drop off osseum sulfur and uh, 
when the sky turns purple I've witnessed super ally dropping in so those are random ones but for these I think uh, let's launch another one right now and see what happens so let's see if this uh, brings in another asteroid what do you call meteor strike right now but it uh, I think it gave a gap and then the second one starts off so there we go the uranium one is finished now the iridium one will start in a bit okay it's taking a bit longer at this point I thought maybe it like glitched out and it won't bring a meteor strike but yeah the storm has started there we have the iridium rockets uh, yes asteroids so you notice that the uranium ones are greenish in color they're flame and these ones have the reddish flame so you can like identify which one is falling right now so when the random events happen you'll have uh, the bluish ones bringing osseum and sulfur and the purple ones they fall off like really crazy they rapidly strike and uh, they drop off super allies that's what I witnessed in twice twice so yeah not once so these are our rocket strikes bringing in asteroids resources these are very useful in the beginning later on you have mines so we're going to work out on the mines now so first let's have a look So there's a map information rocket, the GPS satellites. So what I did was I launched the GPS satellite 1 and then the GPS satellite 3. So the, the GPS satellite 3 unlocks the whole GPS satellite 1 map and the 2 map. So I didn't launch any satellite number 2. So the map information rocket was also launched. So we're not going to launch these again because you just require one of these. and. Um, Let's go have a look at the map and I'll show you the differences. So this is the map. So you see there's GPS satellite 1 which like unlocks the zoom levels till there. And then there's 2 and 3. So I just launched the third one so you don't have to like launch 1 or 2. Save the resources, just save up for the GPS satellite 3 and then you can launch the satellite and unlock all levels of zoom so these uh, resources they're highlighted by the map information satellite so you must uh, like launch that it's useful you'll find these online as well but for the sake of the game yeah this is how it works so the map information one highlights all the resources the osseum uranium iridium all of these where they can be mined using tier 2 extractors or the simple extractors for osseum and uranium and probably zeolite you might require tier 2 extractors i haven't got to the zeolite and uh, the uh, super alloy caves but uh, for osseum and uranium I've uh, made the tier 2 extractors. Osseum was easy, you know where it is. It's near that uh, huge wreckage, we'll show you that later on. But for the uranium one, I'll uh, show you guys right now. It's slightly tricky to find. For me it was because it was far off. So I went for this one, I found this one. So I placed the beacon as well. So this one is closer but uh, I couldn't find where it was so I just backed out from there so osseum is really easy so you can find the osseum one and then that also connects to the sulfur the iridium cave and the other caves over there so let's uh, go forward and see what where the uranium one is the zeolite and super alloy I'll uh, later on find those and place the mines there so I made this new room with some extra storage because everything was filled up 
this is my bedroom slash chill out room so let's see let's get some preparations done let's grab these beans for food let's put away the algae I don't need the iron piece so let's go so there you can see I'm gonna just drink some water and you can see the zeolite uh, sorry not the zeolite osseum pieces that fell off from an asteroid so these are random events they just happen on probably stages you reach in terraforming there was another one here let's see so this one dropped sulfur and osseum very few pieces not much but usually they tend to like despawn but uh, apparently these didn't despawn so i'm lucky i guess because i realized that when the super alloy one fell off i grabbed a couple of pieces and then when i went back to grab more they weren't there anymore so here we go for the uranium mine so here here's another <laughs> drop off point for us in meteor so yeah you just go forward since uh, we've terraformed much that we have water in a, lo a lot of places so this might be like dry and high for you guys that's the iridium cave you just pass that go over this wreckage and let's see I'll show you another thing there are those rocks you see on the right this is a good indicator so the uranium mine is right under that so you just go off these hills I placed the beacon on the other side so it's easier because this is filled with water now so I, I had to like go underwater to get to that entrance I took this path first then I realized there was another way so I placed the beacon there so it's easier I'll show you guys how so there that this is the easier entrance so you just walk up you'll see uranium deposits I grabbed all of them I left this one just for the sake of an indicator so I placed lights here because it's, it was quite dark here so I think it's easier for guiding yourself to this place so I have a flashlight tier 2 I don't know if it has a difference or not so here's the tier 2 extractor for uranium so see that's a lot of uranium <laughs> I think the tier 2 ones are more focused on extracting what they're placed on the resource rather than the random resources like iron magnesium so there's less wastage of space while extracting so let's head back uh, on my way back I'll just show you guys the iridium and sulfur mines and also the osseum one so uh, probably I don't know if these caves just popped up in the new patch but um, I haven't seen any different caves for this new patch yet there's one in this uh, so this is the entrance for that iridium mine you guys remember that so there's one over here right on the right side so this is a tier 2 extractor for iridium and this is the tier 1 see there's more wastage in this compared to that one so that uh, root kind of a thing takes you up on this cliff and that's a new cave probably so this is the ice that melts off later on and you get into the sulfur vein this is our sulfur extractor it's also a tier one so there's too much wastage and less sulfur <laughs> so I would suggest if you guys like uh, later on progress for advanced extraction you just uh, face um, the tier two ones so let's just 
quickly go back, drop off stuff and then come back and explore more. So this place is getting beautiful and beautiful. We have flowers, trees, grass, and the moss has like made everything green now. No more red planet. Oops. I'll just put these here. I just made a couple of storage boxes for organized resources, it's easier. So let's go for osseum from here. This is the start point and then we go where we started off under the lake. <laughs> we just crossed that point and that wreckage on top. I think this is one of the first places where the ice melts so mostly people have like gone into this easier this is the wreckage and the cave is right here so the ice was here which has melted and you walk into the osseum cave so I've uh, collected all the resources, but you can see the crystals on top. You just place a mine here, tier 2 extractor, and you get osseum out of it. So you can also walk out from this side. This brings you back to the sulfur mines. So let's just keep going from here. Wait, I think, uh, yeah, we're going towards the uranium mine. So not, let's just go back and see the entrance from the other side. So there's our sodium extractor and that's the iridium cave. So yeah, there's one more place over here. You just cross this right opposite the iridium entrance. When the ice melts, you can just go through there and you find this huge waterfall of sand. So this place is good for super alloys. There's just random pieces of super alloys dropped on the ground when you go under this you just walk from one end to the other end and collect all of those that's a good start in the beginning when this region gets unlocked and using the jetpack you can just go over this on top and there's a kind of a secret place over here so you just pass through on the top and you get to this secret place there's a wreckage there you can just go find stuff there and on the left there's a zeolite mine a cave uh, I missed that on the way back so I haven't recorded that so this is the wreckage you just uh, you can just walk in there's a couple of stuff here iridium uh, heat generators and st stuff to like uh, scrap and just be careful there's a uh, you have to like jump over this into this uh, wreckage and <laughs> just remember your way out last time I went in this place and I couldn't like go back but see there was a solar panel you can like deconstruct stuff over here and take the resources back to your base so this was the exit jump that I missed out so just keep in mind so that you don't like get stuck and lose uh, all the stuff and then you have to like come all the way back so let's see what this random event asteroids are dropping aluminum okay so let's head back to our base and i think we're done here on the right side of this place there's a zeolite mine which uh okay which we missed out so let's see you guys soon take care bye bye